Alright guys, right here in this box, I have something that was made 40 years ago. Alright, I found this on eBay, figured I would give it a try, and I need you guys to tell me if I should fish with this, or if I should keep it as a display for when my little workshop fishing area thing is done. Let's open this up, and you guys give me your opinion if I should fish with it, at least try to catch a fish on it, or if I should just put it up for display only. You tell me what I should do. So, let's see what's in this box. Like I said, I got it off of eBay. I saw it one day, figured I would bid on it to see if I could actually win it for a pretty cheap price. I didn't pay very much for it. So let's see what is in the box. Some of you may know what this is, some of you may not. Alright, so this is the moment of truth. You guys tell me if you know what this is, okay? Alright guys, so this is the fishing machine. This was actually made this was made in 1976, so this is 40 years old. All right, guys. St. Croix makes this. Yes, the brand that makes fishing rods now actually made this in 1976. What people think is they made this <clears throat> to kind of have to give the to give the pocket fishermen some competition. The pocket fisherman was made a long time ago and the guy was like an infomercial king so he had a lot of infomercials about the pocket fisherman so they think that's why the pocket fisherman was actually a little more <clears throat> just a little more popular because he had so many infomercials and you have people who watch those infomercials religiously and then they just buy just you know just because they see it right then and there it's kind of like a spur of the moment purchase so it is thought that this was made to give that some competition, but this was not made very long. Um, like I said, in 1976 is when it was made, but they did not make them very much. So you guys tell me, should I actually fish with this? Or should I just put it up for display in my, <coughs> in my fishing uh, workshop, whatever you want to call it, when it gets done? Okay, now that'll be in probably a few weeks, maybe a month, um, until it gets done. So in the meantime, should I fish with it or not? You guys tell me. So you see on the front it has a range finder. I don't know exactly how it works because I haven't played with it. I literally just took it out of the box. But from what I've read, you can throw this out and turn it on and you cannot cast it any farther than that range until you reset it. That is my understanding. Now whether it works or not, that's another story. But my understanding is you cast it out, turn the range finder on, which this this may not this one may not even work. It literally may not work anymore. I honestly don't know about the range finder part. It will reel in and go back out, but I don't know if the the range finder part works. So you're supposed to be able to somehow make it to where it saves a range. I really want to try to catch something on it <coughs> just to see if I can just to see how it works. The rod is not too terribly bad, actually. It's a telescoping rod. It's actually, I think the 59 inches is the length that it goes to, so it's, I think it's 59 inches. I'm pretty sure it's 59 inches that it goes to, so it's not a tiny rod, but it breaks down and gets to the length of my arm, from my elbow to my hand. So, it's for a true pocket rod 
it's not too bad as far as the size, but this reel is humongous. <laughs> this reel is, I mean, it's it's huge. This reel is pretty good big, and it's not very light, which obviously was made in 1976. It's not going to be light, but just let's, I'm going to give you some comparison. That's a comparison to the size of this rock, this reel. So compared to today's bait casters, it's pretty big. And like I said, this end, <coughs> this end is pretty heavy. But I kind of want to see if it will actually reel in a fish. I'm pretty sure it would. You guys tell me your experiences with these. Maybe I'll take it out on Sunday. Maybe I won't. It just depends. It has finally turned cold here and I know the high today was in the 40s and I know that doesn't seem cold to some of you guys but man it was really cold here so um, fishing may be it may be officially winter fishing now but we'll see. It's not going to stop me from trying to fish as long as I can effectively fill my hands and use my hands. I'm still going to try to fish a little bit, but what should I do guys? Take it out and try to fish with it or just put it away, put it in his display until my <coughs> until my workshop gets done. You guys let me know, comment, something to check out if you are going through a yard sale and if you see one of these, maybe something to pick up um, just as a collector's item even if you don't want to use it. But, I mean, for a 1976 model, this one is in really good condition. The only thing that was, that's wrong with it is the top eyelet is a little bent. I'm very tempted to try to straighten it back out, but I almost don't want to because I don't want to break it. Because I'd rather it either, I would rather it be bent. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I would rather it be bent than not on here at all. So I'll probably leave it alone because I don't want to break it. But that was the only thing that's wrong with it. It seems to function. I don't know about the range finder function. I don't know how it works. Not that I'll be using that anyway. But it seems to be in pretty decent condition to be 40 years old. So comment down below if you want to see me using this thing in action. And I just may take it out and fish with it. You guys have a great night. Thank you for watching.